don't feel me violence look bad. Hello, this is the Tribal Root Studio. Once again visiting another group of youth in Uganda. What is the name of this village? Nyakatuntu village. What does it mean? <laughs> Shame on you. So um in Tuntu. So I, I, I'm trying to get a meaning. So uh at tribal roots we love the youth so much and our goal is to empower the youth to make sure they are solving the challenges in their communities. It is exciting to see you guys. I don't see this quite often. In many villages I go to, I've never seen youth gathered together like I feel like I want to hug all of you. So, um, these youth have things they are doing and they want to show us. The reason why we showcase youth initiatives led by youth in the villages is because we believe that in this time, it is the youth to fix Africa. So, you guys are going to show us what you're doing. What exactly are you doing before you take us there? Speak up, please. Poetry, 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 and then beekeeping. Yeah, doing poetry, and then beekeeping. Okay. Yeah. Go and show us. Lead us. This poetry rearing, we have, we have very few, we have very few hens. They are only thirty, but our major aim is to, 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 to get, okay, to keep over around four hundred, over to, to seven hundred. So currently we have thirty, and we have we have the reason as why we started with only thirty. We we want to first see the the major requirements, the risks, then the and then we plan for, for the for the larger numbers. So, so, so wait, when did this begin? We started this okay, what we are in? Yes. We bought these ones in June this year. In June this year. Yeah. So that means that has Ask been your way of uh, utilizing the this COVID year, lockdown. Yeah, yeah. You see the COVID, COVID wasn't so, so much of a curse. It was a blessing somehow in this guys because you have you people been inspired to think. To, to, to think about projects you've never thought about. Mm -hmm. And I just hope, I just hope that you do this more, you do more of this and expand. Mm -hmm. Because as we said before, it is you to fix the communities. And you can only fix the communities by setting up projects. Start small as you grow. Mm -hmm. I'm so, so proud of you. So, so what, what challenges have you, have you met in your project? So, the challenges are like two or three. Mm. You see this kind of view in here? Yes. So when it rains, the rain is very high. Then there is coldness. The when, rain and the cold. Yeah, and coldness. Mm. When they are still young, mm. when, they, when that coldness gets to them, they become sick and then we have fast by the meat. Okay. Yeah. So what is, um, what is your market? <coughs> Where do you, do you sell the, your poultry products? <coughs> Because first of all, we have to first cater for our people around. Yes. And then for the eggs, mm -hmm. some people from very far, those some those who, who make chapati, what they also come and give them. But majorly, mm -hmm. we first cater for people the around. Here. Mm -hmm. So you take us to the bee. You said you are also keeping bees. You're the queen of Africa. Youth Development Association have taken us to another spot where they are keeping bees for honey and other things. So I'm going to leave the floor so you tell us what you're doing, how you started, how you do it together, because the most exciting thing is that you're doing it together. Please take us through the process and also tell us the challenges. Yeah, of course we started with a few of the hives here. We started from the other side. We had, we started with, with like 8 to 10, then we have come expanding, as new members come in, we bring in, we bring hives, we add in, then the, the, the money we get, we buy more hives and we expand. So this is how far we have reached 
and we are still expanding. So the method we use, we do bling hives because we have many here. The, the bees cannot come anymore. So we put them there in the gardens and then we trap them. After they have entered, we bring them this side. So that's what we are doing and we are still expanding. Um, and we are planning this year to buy more hives. We, we have okay. some of them in our stores. We shall put them there. And by the end of this year, we are planning to start, start up another site and put there more hives so that we can expand our project. So our goal right now, we are targeting that by the end of this year, we have like 130 beehives. That's our goal. Currently we have over, over 60, around 60, 60, 70 there. So that is our target. And then our another target of ours is uh, the, we want to start processing these, the honey, we pack, we do what. That is one of, the, of our goals. So what challenges do you face? in so, this business? So the challenge we are facing, one, these, these local beehives, the local ones, when it rains heavily, I think you're seeing where, where they are, the, 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 the type of wood we use. Mm -hmm. When it rains heavily, the wind, the, the, the wind so it, the, the wind, it blows them out. Okay. So then another challenge is the market. Mm. The market is teased to the market. So, and then the workers, we only have one worker who comes once in a while, like once in two months. And also we have to pay him a lot of money, which we don't even have. We only have this once in a year. So that one is just a challenge. Have you thought about value addition? Can you? package honey so that it looks so attractive so that people want to buy it because one of the reasons why you don't have market is that what you're selling doesn't look like people should buy it. Uh, okay, we, we, we have that thought but now we cannot think about that when we don't have money. Mm. That one needs a lot of money. I would like to, to, to say you may also need skills and training uh -huh. and more knowledge. Yeah. You know money is uh, a product of knowledge, yeah. wisdom, skills, uh, consistency, discipline. When you have all of those, money just comes looking for you. Yeah, that's, what, that's why I told you that the other time when we were visiting, I was also here. Mm -hmm. we, we, we had to first get someone who, who was going to grade for us the honey. It has to be graded in stages. You have stage one, what, what. Okay. So we have to acquire someone and okay. we have to pay them out. Thank you. Them. Now I, I want us to have a discussion. As youth, how old are you? Me. Yes. 23 years. 23. Yeah. Which year are you at campus? Year two. Year two. When uh, 23 I had already graduated. <laughs> 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 how old are you? I'm 21. 21. Mm. Where did you go to school? Five. Where did you go to school? So I'm trying to to say like I want to tell you guys that you're not young. You are youth but you are not young. You are at the stage where you're supposed to contribute the best you can to the communities where you live. And in this I'm very impressed with what you're doing, but I would like you to do more. The world will see you and the world will tell you that you did your best. So don't don't let anyone tell you you can't do it. You can do anything. So in this I want to, to give you this question. Who of you has a dream to finish university and go to other countries to find jobs? Be honest about it. I know people finish university. I'm going to Dubai, I'm going to Qatar, I'm going to you know, those countries, most of the youth here run to those countries for jobs. With your degree, you run to work as a domestic worker. With your degree, most of the girls that live are working in people's houses, as if you don't have houses here. 
So the reason why people are running away to those places is because they, we say there are no jobs here. Isn't that true? But the reason there are no jobs here is because we are not creating the jobs. Let's talk about this together. The whole world is watching me right now. Why, how can we stop brain drain? Brain drain is you growing up here, acquiring all the knowledge from your parents and from your schools, and then you think you should employ all the knowledge you have in other countries, and you leave your country to perish. How can we stop brain drain? Please, let's talk. Now, of course, uh, as the youth, mm. we have this gun, we come back on the ground mm -hmm. and do things which, which, which are productive. Yes. Now, they us, I, I don't think, by, by the end of two years, mm -hmm. I think we, sh we, we should be having like, shall be having like o over 400 beehives. 400 beehives. Yeah, by the end of two that's years. That's a great goal. Yeah. If you say by the end of two years we want 400 beehives, that's a goal. Yeah. And once you keep your eyes fixed on your goal, you'll achieve. How can we stop brain drain? Yeah, our leaders should empower us. We should support us with funds as youth groups in villages so that we can support our projects like this. Mm -hmm. We are keeping poetry keeping mm -hmm. so that we can improve on our skills and earn more. Thank you. <coughs> As we are having like these beers, mm -hmm. then you get another skills and other people or oh. some of those who can get who can give us an more knowledge increase like when we are having these ones, then they came, they come and give us another knowledge to add on as our project increases. Thank you. Through information, mm -hmm. most of us we should get information from other other countries, mm -hmm. such as that we can get the market from there. Like if when you get information, you go to the internet and you search for how to keep this. You will get you get knowledge, much knowledge from most of the country, which will almost contribute to the the market. Okay, so basically you're speaking about access, ability to information. The world is just a small village. And all we need is to connect with everyone to make sure we are moving at the same pace. So these people have a challenge of lack of access to the internet, information, computers, etc. And this keeps them thinking they are the other class, the second class. But these people are first class if they have everything they need. So whoever wants to support these young people, please do not hesitate. They are promising and they are doing their best and we, we hope so much that this is the new Africa, this is the new era where youth are leading and fixing challenges in their communities. This is the Tribal Root Studio and we have been visiting a group of youth in a Nitoma district uh, in Uganda and if you want to get in touch with them you can write to us to our email address on the caption and if you want to support these people, you can reach them directly still by connecting with us. Thank you so much and have a great day.
of Africa. <laughs>